To lay the boundary wire, start at the charging station. First, make sure you have around 50 centimeters of spare wire. Use the ruler supplied to maintain the correct distances while laying the wire. Keep a distance of 35 centimeters from solid walls to prevent the mower from colliding with the wall when it turns. For beds and gravel paths, a distance of 30 centimeters is sufficient. If the distance is any less than this, the mower may travel over the edge and get stuck. You can adjust the wire later if necessary. Beside paved paths and paving stones at the same level as the lawn, we recommend 10 centimeters. The mower will use part of the paving to make its turn to avoid leaving uncut grass. The mower can safely travel over slabs laid in the lawn itself. Around the edges of ponds, you should keep a distance of 35 centimeters. And for extra safety, set up a barrier approximately 15 centimeters high. Position the hooks about 70 centimeters apart and pull the wire taut. If it hangs in the air across uneven areas of lawn, use extra hooks to prevent the mower from damaging the cable. On very uneven areas of lawn, or if you want to be able to scarify the lawn, you can lay the wire approximately 5 to 10 centimeters down into the soil. But even if you lay the wire on top of the lawn, it will be completely covered by growth after a few months. If there are obstacles you don't want your mower to collide with, you must use the boundary wire to create islands. As you lay the wire towards the obstacle, don't drive the hooks all the way in, because the wire will have to be laid in the same hooks on the way back. For an obstacle, start with the side from which you approach it. Lay the wire around the obstacle. The direction is important. Don't cross the wire. The mower will detect this as an error and stop working. When you complete the circle, lay the wire in the same hooks. The signal will only be cancelled out if the wires are lying close together. The mower does not register a signal and keeps on going. The mower recognizes some obstacles without the need for the boundary wire. If the mower strikes the obstacle, it turns. However, trees should not have visible roots because the mower could damage them or become stuck. Later, you will need to connect the boundary wire to the guide wire at a central point. Lay a loop of around 10 centimeters at the point where you plan to connect the guide wire. At the charging station, leave around 50 centimeters of wire for the connection and then cut the wire.